Good morning, YouTube friends. This is Recovering Yankee, and here's my juice for the day. Celery. Three radishes and a sprig of rosemary. See how long that is? Let's put it next to my finger so you can see. That's about how much oregano I should have used. <laughs> but in reality, I used the whole package of oregano. So that's why it was so bitter. Rosemary is another one that is uh, bitter. Again, I have no idea what the side of, I mean, um, the nutritional effects are of rosemary. There are no side effects. I was about to say side effects because a uh, previous video I was talking about allopaths and side effects. But um, uh, there are no negative side effects of rosemary except it is a bitter and it may be uh, too bitter. It's in, in the herbal world is known as one of the bitters, a whole range or classification of, of herbs. Anyway, so uh, I don't know what the medicinal benefits are of rosemary, but I'll read it in my book. Okay, and of course, you already know the star of the show, the Try Best Slow Star. Try Best Slow Star. Or Try Best Slow Star. That's the star of the show. Everything's ready to go. Uh, since I am doing the sprig of rosemary, I'm going to put that in first. Okay. I have no idea how this is going to go through. It does have the hard stem on it. Okay, wait. I'm going to, I'm going to put the leaves in, not the stem, because I know the stem is not going to get juiced. So. Just going to clog it up. So let me put the leaves in. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the sprigs in of rosemary. Since I only put a small amount in, I guarantee very little juice is coming out and probably no pulp. So now I'm going to add the radishes. Radishes! So right now the radishes are coming out and juice and whatever that sprig of rosemary is, as much juice as it's creating is going to come out now. Now it's the celery. It's chilly. In a previous video I showed you that you can use uh, multiple pieces of of, of celery at once. In a previous video, I've discovered that you cannot put long pieces in, full length pieces of celery, because they just bend. So you can put these pieces in there three or four inches long. And then you plunge it down. Look at the pulps already coming out from the radish. Not too much, not too much of the radish gets juice apparently. These are purple radishes I'm trying. And you can see the juice is purple. You see this spot, how it's, how it's spraying the, uh, the liquid out? The first thing I thought of when I saw that was Austin Powers when he first woke up from his, uh, his uh, cryogenic freeze. And he was, he was urinating or evacuating his, his bowels. <laughs> it, just made, it just made me think of that. 
Then ask your wife. Okay, I put all the celery in, and I'm just waiting for it to, to finish draining whatever's left of the celery juice. You can see the pulp is coming out. There's nothing left up there in the plunger, in the chute. I like to tip it up a little bit because It drips out and it's like anything that drips, it takes time to drip. So, might as well get all the juice out as quickly as possible. Now, what do I like about this Tribest Slow Star? Number one, I like the heaviness of it, the sturdiness of it. It's heavy and sturdy. The base itself is heavy and sturdy. Okay. Another thing I like about it, it's one of the slowest juicers, if not the, I believe it's the second slowest juicer on the market. It only travels at a, a rate of 47 revolutions per minute. What else do I like about it? The fact that I'll put 16 ounces of celery into the juicer and 15 and a half ounces come out with a half ounce of or so approximately less than an ounce of dry pulp what else do I like about this the TriStar slope I mean the try I'm sorry the tri best slow star look how little foam comes out very very little foam comes out we're talking about, I wish I could get away, I wish I could show you how, how thick that foam is. It's, it's like a sixteenth of an inch thick. That's it. What else do I like about my Slow Star? Made by Tribest. This is not hot. There's no heat here at all. There's no heat here. There's no heat here. It's room temperature at best. I like how it's quiet. Look how quiet this thing is. This is wonderfully quiet. It's very well made. I like, one thing I like that's cute is I like it has a chewing sound when you put some, some fruit or vegetable in there. It's chewing it. I like how it's easy to clean. I like the quality of the juice that comes out. It tastes delicious. I like how it has this cap on the end so you can close the cap off when you're when you're done if you don't want it dripping. Or when you're done and you don't want, you know, someone something climbing up in there like a mosquito or whatever. You could just close it off. Boop. All closed. I like how easy how the pulp comes out nice and dry. Look at this. Pulp. See? Did I just drop that in the drink? Oh, crap. I think I dropped it in the drink. Anyway, I think I might have dropped that little piece of pulp in the drink. It'll be at the bottom, I guess. <laughs> anyway, um, pulp's not going to hurt you. Uh, anyway, look at how easy this is. How dry this is, how easy it is to clean. This stuff comes right out. 
okay? And the cleanup is only about six minutes. It's easy, it's easy peasy. I'm not telling you which, which to buy. You obviously have your own choice of which ones to buy. There's many juicers on the market. But you have my testimony that this is the best juicer I've ever had. It's 100 times better than the champion juicer I had once upon a time. And it's about 99 times better than the uh, Jack LaLanne juicer. Okay? I'm giving you my opinion. If you get a chance and you have the money, then I re highly recommend that you buy this juicer. Remember, the name of the company that builds it is TriBest. The name of the juicer is Slow Star. And um, very rarely will you actually kind of mix these two words together and say TriStar. I've done that a couple times and it's accidental. I think because I've seen the name TriStar so many times, I'm pre... I'm pre I'm anticipating, so I say the wrong thing. But it's the TriBest. Slow Star. It is very pretty looking too, okay? It fits well in my kitchen. So anyway, thank you very much. I'm going to enjoy the juice now. Let's see what rosemary and radishes taste like in celery. If you remember, there was a Star Trek episode. Uh, Clint Howard was the little actor. He played. He was a little child in the in, in this episode. And when Captain Kirk and Lieutenant Bailey and Doctor McCoy went over to the Fasarius, uh, they met with Clint Howard's character, who was named Balok. And uh, Balok offered them a drink called Tramya which in real life is orange juice, but he called it Tranya and he tasted it. He goes, he went like this one. Ah, like that. So, Tranya. <laughs> it's called Tranya. Enjoy your Tranya. It tastes very good. The radishes give it a... Uh, a semi-sweet, semi-bitter taste, and the rosemary gives it a little bit of bitter as well. But I put in the right amount of rosemary this time. I remember it just a, a, quart, a half of the sprig, and then I peel the leaves off. This is the actual branch still that held the leaves. Uh, I taste it. It tastes just like rosemary. There you go. Actually, it tastes kind of like lemongrass. I'm going to suck on this for a while. Good. Anyway, I'm enjoying my Tranya. And their episode is called The Corbomite Maneuver. From the original series, it's in the first season. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so maybe you'll make some of your own, Tranya. Okay? Okay, peace to you. Please share this with your friends. Hit like if you like my content. And um, hit subscribe. Thank you very much.